Hey guys, John from FlyMikeAlpha.com and today we're going to talk a little bit about engine out landings. And now normally we always talk about best glide speed and reducing the drag on the aircraft to glide far somewhere to a nice field that you can make a nice safe landing off somewhere off in front of you or right below you. However, what happens when you wind up getting that field and you're still a little too high? So we're going to talk about the other side of engine out landings today what to do when you're just way too high and sort of explore the back side of the power curve and rather than best glide speed, how about worst glide speed and maximum sink speed? So if we lost our engine and we make the runway and what I'm gonna do is I'm just basically gonna hold it and pull it back as much as possible. Just gonna stall it into the runway. Not all the way into the runway. I mean, this will give it time to create drag and sink. If we actually like dove for the runway, we'd never make it. Right. Make some last turns here. So what we're really trying to do here is two separate things. One, increase the drag on the airplane, induce more drag on the aircraft, as well as increase the flight path. So to induce the drag, obviously we're just pulling the controls almost all the way full back into our chest, holding the aircraft in a stalled state or at a stall. And then we're also using lots of rudder input to keep the aircraft from rolling off into a spin, and also using that rudder and aileron together to make S turns to increase the flight path that we're flying so we can fly a slightly longer distance, again, giving the aircraft more time and distance to sink through the air. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't something I suggest that every private pilot go out there and try at low altitudes, but it may be something to talk about with your instructor on your next BFR at a higher altitude to really explore the backside of the power well, two, curve uh, and what it can do for you yeah, if you three, really need it. Final runway three, one, Menace. Now we started this maneuver of, on about a half a mile final from the runway and at about 1,500 feet. Now just crossing the threshold, we're at about 200 feet. And that's where I start to decide, okay, we've made the runway and now we can start lowering our nose, restoring some energy into the aircraft so that we actually have enough energy to go ahead and flare with when we get down to the ground. Just bringing it down with enough energy they can actually flare at the end. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.